Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back to my new video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create the trending title slide animation in PowerPoint with the help of Pixlr Editor. So the first thing that you need to do is of course open your Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint 365 and make sure to create a blank slide. Now we're going to insert a rectangular shape that will cover our entire slide. So under the insert tab, shape, and just drag the rectangular shape onto your slide, just like this. Make sure that it will cover the entire slide, just like that. And now we're going to remove the outline and change the color according to your preference. So I'll stick with color white. And after that, we are going to add a text, which is basically our title. Add the text box and type your title. In my case, I will type the word Manila, which is my title. And Manila is the capital of the Philippines for you to know. And change the font to a heavy font. For example, this Montserrat black font. And then adjust the sizing to like 215 and make sure to position the text in the middle of the slide. Once settled, click the rectangular shape followed by the text box and under the shape format, click the merge shape and then click subtract. With that, we were able to create a mask for the word Manila, which is here like this, as you observe. So next is to add our photo. For the photo background, I want my photo to feature various trademarks of Manila. To achieve this, I will use Pixlr, which is a free photo editing, animation, and design tool that allows you to edit photos and create great designs right in your browser. There are a lot of features for you to discover here. And the great thing about this is that you don't need to install this software. You can edit right in your browser. So they have here different tools that you can use. For example, they have the Pixlr E which has all the essential tools needed to edit and enhance your images. They also have the Pixlr X which is a modern photo editing for quick edits and beginners. They also have the Photo Mash which automatically remove backgrounds and create images to showcase products or people. They also have Remove BG as the name itself so you can remove the background easily. They also have the Batch Editor for you to edit bunch of photos all at once. So let's start exploring with the Pixlr E. So we will click this Pixlr E. So this is a advanced photo editor which is like a Photoshop. So we will create this, create new and make sure to select your size just like what we have in our presentation which is 1920 by 1080. As you can see the interface is somehow similar with Photoshop and they have the tools, the layers and the history. So we will click this plus icon to add layers and just like that we have already our layer. The good thing about this is that we can drag photos directly from our file explorer. For example, I will use this Mount Mayon photo. Just click this add current and it will automatically be added onto your canvas. And after that, I want to add additional design for this. For example, this Rizal monument. Just drag and drop it onto our browser and I want to remove the background. So I will click this scissor icon here and click the AI auto. With that, the AI will automatically remove the background after you click it. As you notice, the AI automatically removes the background with just one click and it happens within seconds without any special actions from me. Now it's time to add more design for this canvas. So I will use this photo of Pauai Church, which is a famous church here in the Philippines. So the same thing, click this scissor icon and click the AI auto. And then it will automatically remove the background within seconds. And I will just adjust it into my canvas, just like this. And let's add more design. For example, this the iconic jeepney of the Philippines. So I will click again the scissor icon. This time I will use this another feature which is the magic mask. I will just click this and select a color from my photo. 
then it will automatically be removed and I will use this brush tool to remove the excess design and then adjust it here we can also adjust the photo background the Mount Mayon by just dragging it just like that now it's time to add the last element for this design which is the iconic Kalesa which is also one of the traditional ways of transportation here in Manila so I will just use this brush to remove this legends text legends and that is perfect now it's time to lay out this design just like that and good thing about this is that you can adjust the layer as well by dragging it just like that it's really like a Photoshop but right in your browser you don't need to install everything and it's all free now it's time to save this file under the file tab and then click save make sure to save it 100% quality and then save us I will rename it as my edit so that I can use it later and then hit the save and with that we just save our photo background that I will be using later there are a lot of tools that you can explore here so I will link this pixeler in the description so you can explore it with yourself they are also offering you this pixeler for free for limited access now for the next tool that we are going to explore i'm going to use the pixeler x they have here a lot of templates for you to use so it is good for beginners where all you need to do is to replace the text and images there are a lot of templates for you to discover here so the next tool that we have here in the pixeler is here the photo mash which is basically one of my favorite tool here in pixeler where all you have to do is to choose a layout design then simply upload your photo and it will be automatically edited out to match the design you have chosen for example this design i will just add a photo of a dog here for example this one i will click that and with a one click the background of the dog will be removed and it will match the design that we have chosen this feature is really cool you can use it for your profile pictures or instagram post let's try this once again with this one cute dog and as you can see the photo mash automatically edited out the photo to match the design we have chosen there are a lot of designs for you to choose from here for your personal pictures, pets, or even your products on your business. Now it's time to explore the next tool which is the remove BG or remove background where all you need to do is to upload your photo and within seconds it will automatically remove the background. For example this, the cute photo of the dog and then we can try it once again with this chipney. And you can also add background color or retain its PNG image you can save it one by one or you can save it as zip now for the last tool we have the batch editor which is a convenient way to edit a bunch of photos at once so I will import here different photos for example we have five photos to be imported here and as you can see I have here the photos and I will click the crop and select an aspect ratio and as you can see the aspect ratio was applied to all the photos and just click the add button for it to be applied and we can also add borders here and it will be automatically applied to all of the photos we can also change the color we can also adjust its vibrance saturation and such there are a lot of tools for you to discover here and then you can easily explore or export it here you can choose file types the quality and just export and the file will be saved as a zip file now it's time to go back to our presentation proper i will now add the image that i have edited earlier with pixeler which is this my edit i will just import it onto my presentation and then right click send it to the back just right behind the rectangular shape with the text mask of manila 
so it should look like this and after that it's time to duplicate the slide for the magic to happen and under the second slide we need to zoom out the slide as much as you can and then enlarge the shape just like this so the goal here is to fit the entire slide within the text mask or within the whole of the rectangular shape ensure that there's no overlap between the photo and the rectangular text mask you can also adjust the size of the mask by clicking this arrow button and then make sure to enable the lock aspect ratio and then enlarge it until the rectangular text mask no longer overlaps with our slide just follow this procedure so we're going to adjust or make this bigger until our text mask no longer overlaps with our slide so i think this is now good enough since the rectangular text mask is no longer overlapping with our slide now we will select the photo under the shape format selection pane and then click the picture then slightly enlarge the photo and then make sure that it is placed in the middle of our canvas slide so we are doing this so that the photo will zoom in slightly when we transition from slide 1 to slide 2 and just make sure to crop the photo according to the size of the slide just like this and it is now perfect now under the slide 2 click the transition tab and make sure to apply the morph transition to all slides you can also adjust the duration of the transition and make sure to apply this to our all slides and finally here is the final output for this tutorial so this feature was made possible due to the morph transition masking effect and the assistance of fixeler editing tool which i will also link in the description for you to explore so that's basically it i hope you learned something new from this tutorial if you have some questions clarifications or suggestions just comment down below again this is gamo edits and thank you for watching